Puzzle Mania. Mysteries and complicated puzzles to solve await you. Entity number 64, the Puzzle Maker. Entity, Puzzle Maker, but call me Puzzle. Habitats, level Puzzle Box of Mysteries. Note, this refers to level 236. Description. Ahem, <clears throat> ahem. Testing automatic audio transcript. Ahem. <clears throat> it works. My audio device that directly transforms my spoken words into written words works. I hope they won't mind me adding my own article. <laughs> Meggies are a bit too serious to write about me. Oh, right. It's already recording. Oops. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my little biography. Lucky one that passed my test. I'll explain everything of importance later. So for now, let's just get to know each other right now. I'm Puzzle Maker, but others call me Puzzle. I know I already said that before, but still. From my name, you can probably guess that I can make cool puzzles, like the one you've just spent about half of the day working on based on my previous records. Unless you're faster than the others, of course. My entire level is full of puzzles and things like that. They're all my creations. But it's hidden very far away, hidden to those that didn't pass my test. Nobody knows about it, except those that are in my realm. People used to come before, but now only a few do. So, so well, so you're very lucky. My realm is the realm of creativity. I can shape it however I desire. I could create an entire world inside of my level if I wanted to, but that wouldn't be fun, you know? But I can't create even a bit of company. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty lonely. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very smart, I think. That's how I'm able to create so many complicated puzzles and tricks. I guess it's just what I was born to do, to challenge my mind. Yet, no matter how hard I try, I never lose. That's why it always gets boring after a while. But I'll keep you entertained. I'm also a jester. Jesters are amazing. They make people have fun. Everyone loves jesters. So you must be pretty excited to see me, right? I can beat any game, solve any problem, and make anything. What sort of fun can I get from that? All alone. I'm a jester. Jesters are supposed to entertain, not be lonely. But I don't have to build things on my own anymore, or be alone. People like you, that are full of enthusiasm and curiosity towards puzzles, are exactly what I was looking for to challenge myself with. We'll have so much fun soon enough, so stick around. Pretty please. Behaviors. I'm very cool. I know about 500 puns that I've studied from my pun book, along with 400 different topics to discuss in case you get bored, though sometimes I forget to stop talking and overshare about my hobbies. Not many people like that, but I'm trying, I promise. As a jester, I am entertaining. In fact, I can do circus things. And I'm very colorful. People love colors, don't they? I like to give hints when people are solving my puzzles, and I like to help with chores like cleaning. I guess I'm helpful. Maybe. I can do many things. I can... Um... I don't really have any other qualities about me. <laughs> but I can learn. You won't get bored of me, though, right? Yes, yes, of course you won't. I'm good. I'm better now. I'm not a scary monster anymore. I'm a perfect, perfect jester. Don't leave me all alone. Biology. I'm made of puzzles. Literally. I can shape my body however I want, and change the texture of how I feel with just a touch. Because my body is made of puzzles, I can create pieces and switch them with my current ones, so I can become anything. Literally anything. And infinite other possibilities. In my chest, I store a colorful cube that is my heart, the essence of my existence. It is very important. Luckily, it cannot be removed. Some years ago, I looked a bit more scary. I wasn't able to shapeshift very well, but I promise I look nice now, so don't be afraid of me, please. I swear I look absolutely great, so don't give up on coming here. After all, I can make myself look however you want me to. I can change my hairstyle however I want, so that I can look fashionable. Sometimes I like to look through the stuff that falls in my level, like wigs and other pretty things, so I can wear them. I studied about human things, so I could be the very best to entertain all of you. I can look like however you want me to. Isn't that great? <laughs> you still need me, don't you? You still need me to smile and laugh and be entertained, right? I won't disappear, right? I won't be all alone.
I'm still useful. Discovery. I don't exactly remember the reason I'm here, or how I appeared here in the first place. I remember I was gifted the power of creativity so, so long ago, when I was just a simple puzzle box in an empty white room. I wasn't alive, really. I was an inanimate object that got lost and forgotten in that room. <laughs> they forgot about me. They grew older, they found new toys, and they forgot I existed. Then, I fell here, and stayed in place for a very long time. The cube in my chest, that was what woke me up from this inanimate life. It landed on me, and I felt like a sudden force gave me life. I heard the cube talking to me, and that was the last time it ever spoke. What the cube said, create fun, bring laughter, be humorous. I never understood the reason of these words. In fact, I only knew that was my purpose, my reason of being alive. Ever since then, I've tried to follow what the cube had said. I tried to entertain others through laughter, fun. I wasn't good enough. I'll never be good enough. I don't really have anywhere else to go besides here. It's the only place I feel like I belong. Puzzles are the only thing I know how to do. I tried and tried to be more appealing, but it doesn't work. Making puzzles kept me happy, but it became boring after a while. Everything is boring now. I don't enjoy doing anything. I don't have a family. I don't have anybody. I don't even have a name. Because family gives you a name. I'm so alone. In the end, a puzzle box will always be forgotten because new things will bring joy to others. And I? What will happen to me once everybody stops coming here? I don't want to disappear. I don't want to disappear. Don't abandon me here. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Please. It's been so long since I've been waiting here for someone, anyone. <laughs> but I have friends now. <laughs> I have so many friends that play with me. What am I worrying about? I'm fine. I'm fine. Sorry for the whining. That was very boring. I won't bore you any further. Let's finish the rest of the important informations about me. Like cool secrets. Secrets are entertaining, right? I am being entertaining. My entire purpose is to be that. So let me continue being a source of fun. I'll do anything and everything. Just like a great jester. Just please don't throw me away. Additional info. I collect cute, tiny reptiles made of clay. Oh, oh, I also have a collection of adorable rainbow clothes, things that are fashionable to humans. I like to put tiny things in my hair, like ribbons. My tongue is blue like candy. Sometimes I bite it, but it doesn't taste very good. I just realized I should have said this in the biology section. I'm sorry. I hope it's not that important. <laughs> I like my nails painted pink. Pink is my favorite color. But I also like the rainbow color. It was the color of my cube, so that's why I love it so much. But you can paint them any color you want. I like the furball creatures that smell like fish. They're very fluffy. And I like to create puzzle versions of them to keep me company. They're named Biscuit, Rock, Toe, and Ball. You can find them on their little slide. I recommend petting them, but not petted belly rubs. They hate belly rubs. I talk to them a lot. Every day. Every day. I don't like liquid foods. The texture makes me shiver. Yuck. Give me solid foods instead, like pancakes. Ah, uh, but you can feed me anything still. I... It's just picky eating. I can deal with that. I wear two different shoes and socks. I love the fuzzy feeling on my right foot and the colder feeling on my left. Maybe I should share my wardrobe with everyone one day. I like things called anime. Some wanderers like to talk about them. I like the ones with magical humans that have pretty colorful clothes. I want to be a magical puzzle person too and be loved by others. I want everybody to love me. My favorite puzzles are those that have food and soft objects in them. Don't use that to bribe me though. I don't like to give unfair advantages to others. Don't hate me for that, please. My favorite board games are those that are long and require precision and time to complete. Ah, I should probably stop talking before I run out of topics and make my brain get sleepy. You're probably bored by now. I think now you know enough about me. So get ready for the final step. Aren't you excited? Do's and don'ts. Do. Talk to me. Play with me and challenge me with your puzzles. Share your interests and hobbies with me. Hug me if you want. Don't. Be scared of me or frightened by me. Pinch my face too hard. Get bored of me. Leave me alone. Don't ignore me. Please. Please, I am so alone. I've been alone for so long. It hurts. It hurts so much. 
I'm not a monster. Here is your invite to read my level, now that you've gotten to know me. Note, see level 236, Puzzle Box of Mysteries. There is more to this tale than there was told. The tale of a creature that wanted love, in this hellish realm of death and loneliness, chosen to be one of the spawns of humor. The story of a puzzle box that was brought to life. Link to related tale. The story of a puzzle box. Puzzle mania. Mysteries and complicated puzzles to solve await you. Puzzle maker. The avatar of humor. There was once a lonely little puzzle box abandoned on the shelf of a dark and dusty room. The children had grown old. They didn't need it anymore. They could simply play with the new games. Times changed, and they didn't need old toys anymore. And so, the puzzle box, which was once used to color, to dream, to create, was left abandoned and forgotten, unneeded, like some things of the past that are replaced with the future. But the puzzle box cannot think. The puzzle box cannot feel. It is simply an object that fulfilled its purpose, and now is rotting because it is useless. Puzzle boxes don't feel. One fateful day, the children were cleaning that dusty room. If the puzzle box could think, it'd be joyful, relentlessly trying to get the attention of its beloved playmates, trying so hard to be picked up and played with again. But the children never bothered to touch it. The box would hope, if it could feel, that every time the children would come, they would pick it up as their toy, only to relive that same moment infinitely, seeing other, better, colorful toys being picked. And the kids grew older, and older, and older, until one day, there were no kids. No, they weren't its playmates. They were bigger, but there were other children alongside them. That room that was once their play area, was now being cleaned of everything in it, all the other toys. If the puzzle box could see, it would see the toys being shoved into trash bags and thrown away. It will be its turn soon enough. But yet, that fate never came, as one of the children had hit the shelf with a colorful ball. The puzzle box fell on the floor, not scattering, but vanishing. As if it went through it, there were no children or adults, no familiar rooms, just a long, endless fall, until the box ended up on a cold, white floor. It was surrounded by other objects, but the box could not perceive. If the box could feel, it would cry. What does a box even know how to cry? It's unknown. After all, the box cannot do anything. It simply remains in place, objects falling nearby time marching fast, almost like it was back to rotting on that shelf, until one day, something new happened. A colorful cube had placed itself on top of the puzzle box, whispering things it could not understand. It began merging with the cardboard, the puzzle pieces. Soon enough, the box had vanished. The room was now taking the appearance of its interiors. The puzzle pieces merged, beginning to think, perceive, understand until it took form. It wasn't perfect. It was a big accumulation of puzzle pieces, not exactly a clear shape. The puzzle creature had crawled around, scared, attempting to call out for something without succeeding. Its first thoughts were of the playmates it cherishes dearly. It attempted to return to them, but there was nothing it could do. It didn't know where to look for them. So what the puzzle creature did was hope that they'll return to it. And as it had that hope, the puzzles attached to its giant body began detaching, as they formed exact replicas of the two children. At first, the puzzle creature did not understand, laying nearby the sculptures to attempt to find some sort of comfort. But then, afterwards, it began connecting the dots, connecting to make something different. A box of puzzles. And so, one was made. The creature understood it could create anything it desired, so it tried relentlessly to rebuild the old play area that it loved so dearly. Colorful, small, 
It then placed the puzzle statues there, simply sitting between them. It tried to regain a sense of normality, but it knew this was just a pale recreation, not reality. Those times are long gone, it thought, filled with a wave of new emotions, which can only be described as sadness. The puzzle creature had begun looking for the cube that spoke to it, finding it stuck inside its center, like a beating heart. It tried to talk, yet it never got an answer. The cube was silent, and that made the puzzle feel something called frustration. The creature had nothing left for it, no purpose, no joy to bring. It was trapped in this place, with nowhere to go, nobody to talk to. It could understand many things, and that was hurting it even more, until someone had come. It was a person like its beloved playmates, and a feeling, a purpose, had burned in its mind. The cube had lit up that purpose. Create fun, bring laughter, be humorous. There are others who can be entertained by the puzzle creature. It can be loved and cherished, as it was back then. Oh, such joy. Too much joy. The puzzle creature had crawled to the human with a happy face, attempting to entertain the human in a joyful rush, with its pretty colors, its fun tricks. But what the creature was unaware of is that people are afraid of something running up to them, looking like a monster. And that person ran away, vanishing in a door. The creature, looking saddened, not understanding, it could only hear one thing that that person had said. Monster. Monster? The puzzle creature looked at itself in confusion, those words echoing in its mind. What is a monster? It must be something horrible. A monster doesn't make people smile. Bad monster. It must be better. It must look better, like a friend. How do friends look like? Like its playmates. Friends. They are friend-shaped. The puzzle creature had tried to look like them, now more humanoid, more approachable, but still off, not quite perfection. It waits for more humans. It waits for more friends, every day. It tries to act like humans, learn like humans. This cool new place that is home is full of things they like. Things made of paper with pretty pictures of cool human things. It found something called Jester. The word laugh and fun was around it. Thus, it must be the way to make others smile. Jester. They dress colorfully, silly. The creature had mimicked the various dresses, looking just like a laughter bringer now. The creature had found its changes weird, but comfortable. It was like when its box got replaced with a prettier one. It liked this new appearance. It made humans not scared, so they loved it. They loved this jester appearance, yet the creature wasn't perfect enough. It lacked things that were special. The humans got bored and left. The puzzle was again alone. It was boring. They had other ways to be entertained. Stupid, stupid puzzle. The word monster was once again rumbling in its head. An incomprehensible feeling began filling the creature, something it didn't experience before. And small blue pieces of puzzles leaked from its face. It did not understand. What was that heartache? Those wet puzzle pieces. Those are tears, and this is sadness. But the paper objects say that when you are sad, your mouth is upside down. Its mouth is permanently stuck in place in a smile. But why? Why can't it not cry? The mouth does not move, and the puzzle had tiredly stopped crying. Once again, it was a stupid puzzle that couldn't do anything right. It was left behind for a reason. It was probably always a failure. Why it never made anyone truly happy. Because Puzzle was a monster. A scary monster. Not like a jester yet. Nobody will like Puzzle if it looks like a puzzle. So the puzzle has to look better. The puzzle has to be better. And so, Puzzle had learned that to make others happy, Puzzle had to look different for them. To change, morph, and behave. 
so that puzzle will be cherished like it once was. Puzzle learned how to talk, how to greet, how to master all sorts of things, to entertain, to please, and like a jester, they laughed, they played, they wanted more. Puzzle gave them more, more jokes. Puzzle had become the best, the most beloved puzzle box it once was. Puzzle is so happy, right? Puzzle's purpose is this, so it must make Puzzle happy. It must, it must, it must. Puzzle wants to be loved again. Puzzle is so alone. Puzzle has changed body. Puzzle has changed likes. What can Puzzle do anymore? Nobody stays. Puzzle has nobody who will keep them. Nobody. Something called a family. There is nobody like that. They say family is the thing that loves you the most, that raised you, and is part of you. Puzzle wants a family too. Puzzle wants to be loved too. Not just for a bit, but forever. Puzzle didn't like anything it did anymore. Puzzle was learning too many things. Everything was predictable. Nothing mattered because everyone left. No matter the tricks, the jokes, the chatter, only one thing stayed unpredictable. Games, puzzles, and enigmas. They could be anything, and they could end in infinite ways. Nothing was ever predictable. Puzzle liked to create something that took time to solve. It was exciting, but solving it on its own was boring. It wasn't exactly like seeing somebody else do it. So the creatures searched for humans, but not all humans. Those humans who liked games and enigmas. Those humans who were curious. Then it thought that once those humans would be by its side, that they'd finally never be alone again. So the creature invited those who showed curiosity, creating enigmas that could be accessed by others. Things that not Millie, So the creature invited those who showed curiosity, creating enigmas that could be accessed by others, things that not many were willing to even try. In that once lonely cold level, now there was joy, chatter, games, fun. The creature of puzzles had now understood another part of its purpose, to make puzzles, to find someone like it who understood. It was happy like this, not like before. This was the only way to feel happy. He was now Puzzle Maker. He had chosen an identity. He wanted to be like humans, not different, but only family gives you a name. And he had none. So the creature invited those who showed curiosity, creating enigmas that could be accessed by others, things that not many were willing to even try. In that once lonely cold level, now there was joy, chatter, games, fun. The creature of puzzles had now understood another part of its purpose, to make puzzles, to find someone like it who understood it. It was happy like this, not like before. This was the only way to feel happy. He was now puzzle maker. He had chosen an identity. He wanted to be like humans, not different, but only family gives you a name, and he had none, only a title he could bear. Puzzle Maker wanted to become someone that mattered. He wanted his own identity, but despite his willingness to not suffer any longer, his fear of being alone brought him back to hide parts of himself to appear appealing to his companions. And it didn't change, split between individuality and the search for love by following the purpose assigned to him by fate. What will become of this broken puzzle box? He doesn't know. Not even now. He's still patiently waiting in that place he calls home, waiting for something to happen. To be found, perhaps. Or for things to change. And to this day, he still does not know who he is, why he was born, purpose of his existence. All he does is cling to desperation, to try and find something in life that does not make him miserable. Puzzle Maker, the avatar of humor, unaware of his true destiny, will be simply left to hope. Sometimes stories don't end quickly. 
Sometimes, so many things end up taking away an ending. He will find something that makes him fit in one day. One day, maybe things will be different. All he can do, in this present day, is vanish into the daydreaming of his mind. The peaceful world, where he's happy. He wishes it was the truth deep down. All he has to do is continue smiling. Smiling until he breaks into tiny puzzle pieces. Back to what he was in the beginning, when he was left behind. A simple puzzle box holding dreams and fun. Lost and scared, like a child. A child that can never frown. Frowning isn't part of fun, after all. Neither is sadness.